A whole lifetime contained in a few pictures. Probably more than will be left of our lives. This one shows Ramesses VIII being presented with his twin sons, the power the elder, and B. They grew into two very different persons, both physically and mentally. Ra became a thinker, a searcher the secret of eternal life. With B, he was a sensualist, who spent his time only seeking pleasures for his body. That is the legend? Yes. But substantiated in writings and drawings and tales handed down through the ages, which make it fact. Then please go on. I'd like to know the rest of the facts. B was jealous of his elder brother's position and popularity, and suspicious of his profound thinking and deep wisdom. And he continued conspired to have Ra branded as a witch. So successful was he that the aging Ramesses in an effort to avoid civil war, was forced to accept the will of the people and to banish his favorite son. After months of wandering, Ra and his small band of faithful followers were befriended by an ancient nomadic people deep in the remote part of the Sahara. <laughs> As time passed, the tribe of nomads became so impressed with Ra's dignity and learning that they asked him to become their king and rule over them. At his coronation, he came with a small medallion on which had been inscribed sacred words of life, used only in the rare ceremony of reviving the dead. A secret which had been in their possession for centuries. Ra then made plans to return to his homeland so that he could set right the wrongs which had been done to him. In preparation, Ra prayed to Bupasti, the most powerful of all his for spiritual guidance on how to use the secret of the words of life wisely and for the physical strength to carry out his mission. But B, hearing of his brother's plan, sent assassins into the desert to find and kill Ra. He attacked without warning and showing no mercy, killed nomads and priests alike. dying, cut off his hand on which he wore his ring of birth. He took it back to be as proof that his father was done. They missed the medallion. What did you say, Adam? I'm sorry, I was just talking that the assassins missed the medallion. What happened to it, do you think? It was almost certainly buried with him in his tomb in the desert. Was it found amongst the treasures of the tomb? But... Well, was it? No. But perhaps... Well, your facts are no more than legend, after all. Adam, we've got the money form copied in position now. Would you care to see it? Adam, John said we'd like to see the mummy. Yes, yes, I would very much. Come along, then. Come on, boys, he wants us to try it once again in there. Come on, these Americans, they're impossible. That's right. I must have your final decision. Velour, lace, or chenille. Mosquito netting. 
of anybody's money. Mr. King, you are an incredible man. Well, some of us have got it, and the others ride home in a horse skirt. 